Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video. And today we're taking a look at some of the best iPhone apps that you must have on your iPhone in March, 2024. Now we're starting things off with a couple of AI apps, which are pretty cool. The first one is called La 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 AI and it allows you to split music files. Now this is what I'm talking about here. You tap the plus button here and you will be able to choose from your files, your photo library where you can choose of course a video or your music here from apple music you will have of course everything that you have on your apple music app you tap right there tap the dumb button and this will allow it to separate a song so what you can do is choose to separate the vocals of a song from the instrumental of the song you tap right here and you just tap on start processing and it will do that automatically for you it's very easy to do very simple and it actually works as it should of course, I won't be able to actually play these because, of course, I don't want to get copyrighted here, but it works really, really well. So you can see right there, it's processing. It will take a few seconds. Now, here we have one that I already did. You can see what it does. This is the one we just did right here. So we will have the vocal here and then we have the instrumental. Both of these are separated as easy as that. So you want to do that. You can do that with this free app very easily. Now this is the next one for the video. It is called Jelly Pod. Now this is really interesting. It uses AI to actually get your emails, which of course you can forward from your email to this app via an email that will be generated from this app. And then it will basically turn your emails into a podcast. It will read it for you. You can pick a few different voices, of course, by going to the settings. You can add your sources here, which will be your emails that you use. Now, if I go here, you can see I have this email, which I can just copy like this, and then I can forward my email to the app using this email right here. Once I have done that, of course, I will have the email here. Once the email gets here, it will be able to actually read it for me and turn it into a podcast, which is really awesome. Now, here's the email I just received. I can go here and of course, it will actually start playing this. It will just be like a podcast. So after you have received your emails, just like I did receive it, this one right here, you can see that you will have your pods right here at the top and they will be generated once a day for you. So once you have received all those emails, you can go to this app, start playing from here and it will start reading the emails and actually summarizing for you just like a podcast. Guap is the next app for the video. Now this app allows you to track your income and your expenses. Now you can see it has a really nice UI where you can just add your expenses, of course, your income, and then you will see the balance here after you have made some expenses. It's really simple to use. You just go into the app, you tap the plus button. You will have the ability to choose between income and expenses here and add them right here. You will have different categories. So you can choose where did you make those expenses or the income, and then you will see everything here. You can see how nice the UI of this app is. Now you will have your stats right here for the day, and then you will have all the transactions here. So you can switch between the different days and you can see all the transactions that you have made. You can do that, of course, for each day or maybe all the transactions for a month. You will see everything right here. Swipe and delete is the next app for the video. It allows us to easily manage your photos. Deleting photos is sometimes really hard. Like photos will just cramp up there on the photos app and you will have probably hundreds of photos that you don't actually need, screenshots and things like that. But with this app, it will be very easy for you to actually remove those from your device and save a ton of space. Now the way it works, pretty simple. You open the app, you will have here months and you will have number of photos as well. So you can rearrange your folders here based on how many photos are on each month or just by month or right here, which is even more easy. Now you can go to one of the months. It will show you the photos from that month. You will have the ability to keep or delete that photo. And just like that, once you delete the photo, it will be gone from your photos library as well. Now, of course, you can do this for multiple photos. It will show you how much space you have recovered on your device and everything else. You go back home. You will have here a ton of other photos, which you can choose to remove very easily from your device by simply categorizing those into different months of the year and of course sometimes we know in which month we have taken more photos you can even see them here you can go clean up your photos as easy as that 
The next app for the video is called Mojo. Now, this app has been actually released quite a while back ago. I did do a review of this app on one of my other videos, but recently it has been updated with some really cool home screen widgets. So I had to share this with you once again. You can see this one right here how cool this widget is you will have this animation on the home screen of your device and it actually even works so if i just tap right there it will of course open the safari app which is really nice then we have this one right here at the top where you will see all kinds of different information regarding your device your day the volume the brightness of your device the steps that you have taken the battery the disc and everything else going into the app you will see here have a ton of things you can see all these new widgets that have been added you will have widgets for your photos icon launchers you will have calendars the x board this one is pretty cool where you can see all kinds of different information regarding your device and you will have everything else here like time and clock sports and all that now right here will even have widgets for the lock screen of your device and you will have the dynamic island right here will have this icon launcher for the dynamic island which is really awesome and you will have the settings here where you can set the transparency for your widgets the way to do that go to the last page on the home screen without no icons take a screenshot here then once you go into the app all you have to do is just go ahead and set the transparency here so the way to do that transparent widget tutorial it says right here go here just tap in the middle here and load the screenshot you just took and you're good to go the next app for the video is called Infinity Shortcuts. It adds a ton of different shortcuts to your device, of course, using the Shortcuts app. So you will have all kinds of different shortcuts right here. You will have all of them. You will have, of course, a search bar. You can search for your shortcuts and you will have the popular shortcuts right here. You want to add one of these to your device. You just tap right there and add the shortcut as simple as that. Now, a lot of these will be amazing to use with the action button. If you have it on your iPhone, of course, if you have an iPhone 15 Pro, you will have here all kinds of like different categories of shortcuts. You will even have widgets here, which you can enable from this app where you can launch different apps directly from the lock screen of your device so pretty simple to use it adds a ton of different shortcuts the way to do that just add the shortcut it will be added to your shortcuts app and then of course you can use it from here either from the home screen or using the action button next up is ultra calculator probably the only calculator you need on your device it's not just a calculator you can see right here it looks very similar to the ios one but where it says basic right there i can tap and i can switch between different things so we will have units right here centimeters inch we can go ahead and switch to area here temperature you can just convert any unit you want as easy as that i tap it there we have dates we have right here currency you will have a ton of things that you can actually use within this app so you can just basically convert anything you want and of course calculate everything you want all these apps you probably get on the app store you'd have like five or six apps to do these things right here everything can be done within this app next up is sports by apple now this is a new app that apple has released the sports app where you can get all the information regarding your favorite sports and your favorite sports team you get started right here you can pick your favorites right here like any league you want any team you want you will see everything here so you will have the results from your teams from yesterday from today and of course the upcoming games are right here you will have your teams right here you can manage them you will have your leagues as well as your teams and of course the favorites will be right here on the home page so basically a pretty basic sports app but it has recently been released by apple and you know what apple does think they're actually pretty good so if you just need to follow your favorite team and your favorite sport you can do that now from the sports app by apple the next app for the video is called quick replies which allows you to add quick replies to the keyboard of your device it actually is like a second keyboard so you tap right here and you can add a quick reply so right here the message shortcut i can just say hi and then I can save that so if i tap save now i will have this on my keyboard now the way it works you simply head on to your settings and add this keyboard go to settings general then go to keyboard keyboards right here add a new keyboard they will have quick replies and now when i go to send a message i can just switch to this 
other keyboard right here and there I have all of my shortcuts. If I tap on high, you can see it will expand the message and I can go ahead and send it as easy as that. And last but not least is hidden calculator. Now it looks like a calculator, but it actually allows you to hide your files and photos right here. You can set a passcode once you install the app, or you can even use your face ID. So once I enter my passcode, tap on done, it will open my files right here. And I have these photos hidden from the files app. I can tap the plus button. We can see I can create a new folder here, or I can import files from the files app or import something from the photos app and have everything hidden right into this app. So that's basically for this video guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. All the links will be in the pinned comment. If you enjoyed it, please make sure you leave a like, subscribe for more, and I'll see you on the next one.